Hey, this is Anthony from Revit TV. You can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Revit Tornado 2 pants available at Revzilla.com. Redefined for 2016, this is the new Tornado 2. Now, the original Tornado has been around for years, and the reason a product lives for years is because it's rock solid. With the new Tornado 2, they've taken what worked so well with the original Tornado, and they've taken it up a notch. I will tell you that I have one gripe with it, and that is the length of the zipper. It used to be more of an overpant configuration, easier to get on and off with boots. Now that zipper ends below the knee. That's the only real change that I'm not in favor of. Everything else, I'm gonna walk you through these key changes that they focused on were comfort and or protection features that take this to the next level. Now I will tell you, they've taken it from just under the $300 mark to just over the $300 mark. None of this is scary for me because you're getting a more fully featured and protective that will be multi-season and usable, and you're getting it really in a spring, summer, fall configuration. If you look at it, great big vent panels that are gonna flow a ton of air. They beefed up the protection scheme by going from 500 and 750D materials respectively, now to 750D in main construction and 1000D in your impact areas. You're still getting the two-in-one thermal liner that you're able to remove that's also waterproof, but the big, big upgrade here is going to be the protection. So you're looking at C-Flex, CE Level 2 protection that's ventilated, temperature stable, and is really the new gold standard, passing that new CE Level 2 certification for limbs. You're getting that in the knees, and it is adjustable. And remember, this pant comes in a black and a silver. It also comes in a ladies' version. The other nice part is in the hips, they've gone away from C-Soft into C-Smart, which gives you CE Level 1 one protection in the hips, but now it's thinner and more compact. You're not going to feel it. So all in when we look at it, we're looking at a full three season warm weather touring pant that has a waterproof and breathable lightly thermal liner that you can put in or pull out that is much more protective than the previous version. There's some other nuances here as well, but I'm going to talk about them when we break things down. Now, from a sizing standpoint, Hive is Brian to my left, six foot 195, 42 inch chest. He's a 35 inch belly button. He's wearing a size large standard. And whenever you hear me say large standard, that means that it comes in shorts and it comes in tall sizes. So what Hive is Brian could do, depending on how he was built, he'd use a size chart with his inseam, his belly button waist, and some other dimensions, which are simple to take. And he would look, he might buy a short size, a normal size, a standard, or a tall size. And remember, you have two positions for your knee armor as well, so you have the ability to move them up and down to make sure they're in the right position when you're riding. So keep that as a frame of mind for what Hive is Brian's wearing and how these fit him. But also keep in mind too that you have a lot of flexibility for men and women to be able to get your sizing spot on so that it's comfortable when you're riding, but also making sure that your protection on the knees is in the right spot so that it's there when you potentially go down. Remember, you're dressing for the crash. We'll ship for free over 39 bucks, as always, if you're concerned about that fit. And remember, we're here to help you. Give us a ring. I'd also love it. Click our logo. Subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Leave me your comments, requests, and your feedback on the new Tornado 2. I'm curious to hear how you might react to it. So remember, working from the outside in, there's a black color. This is a silver. It's got that beefed up denier on the outer shell we talked about. You have your big mesh panels that are going to flow a ton of air. Other changes. Show the si slide lock there, HVB. If we look at it, it's now not a basic snap. It's a slide lock from YKK. So again, you get the ease of use of a snap, but actually slides and it positively snaps in. And notice that you do have that zipper right below that. Basic pocket it's on the front. You can see up here along the waist, this is where you're going to adjust it. So you have those sliders. You'll see that in a second. Don't turn yet. When we turn Hive is Brian. Other key changes they made to the front here. Increased reflectivity. You're going to see as we do our 360 of this. And then they've refined your elasticated panels at the places that are going to live above your armor, which would be articulation points. And we did talk very early in this video that the length of this zipper changed. It became shorter, and that makes it a little bit more difficult to wear it as an overpant. That would be my one gripe. I know there were a lot of folks out there that wore it as an overpant. As a last gripe, if we're going to stay on the other thing I nitpick, I always looked at this pant, and I've always said, you know, you put your waterproof breathable removable liner, and you've given it a light thermal layer. That's great for those that want to put that in place in the spring and in the fall, but if you're riding in the summer and if you get hit with rain, now it is warm out, so you're probably going to dry much more quickly, but you're probably going to be raising your temperature profile by putting a little bit of light thermal to get that waterproof all in one. Sometimes I wish they broke them apart, but based on feedback they've gotten from riders, it seems like that's been spot on with folks' expectations. Now, Hive is Brian, turn the face away from me. If we look at the side here, remember we talked about this slide up the top. There's no need for a belt here. You have two belts baked in, lots of room for adjustability. You're going to have that C-Smart armor, which is thinner and still CE rated. Now look at the side. Revit logo on a big piece of reflective paneling. And if you zoom all the way down, 
by the cuff here. You're going to see the back of the leg has a great profile from a ventilation standpoint, but what you're also going to see is how you tie things in down along the bottom. And notice there's another reflective area right there. Now, hi Vis Brian, turn backwards for me. If we look at the back, seven inch connection zipper, you have this nice high waist, which now has a 3D mesh backing on it. It's going to wick sweat away a little bit better. They've improved that. The top of the seat is going to be more refined from an elasticity standpoint. Again, this elasticated stretch panel, so it moves with you. And they gave you the butt grippers. Everybody loves the butt grippers. The butt grippers, I'm not going to touch them. They're textured. They're going to come into contact with your seat. They're going to give you another other positive feedback point with your bike versus just sliding around. So you have that that has been an added feature. Now, without going all the way back to the top here, you can also add suspenders here. If you look at the back sides of the legs, great protection in the lower leg. If we look at the back of the leg and the knees, these are the areas that are furthest from harm's way. That's going to be your big exhaust ports for all the air conditioning on these guys. Air comes into the front, circulates around, exhausts out the back. It is a big big, larger mesh weave, and again, it's maximizing ventilation for the dead of the summer. Great touring outfit. And I will tell you that most people do gravitate toward the lighter colors for summertime riding as well for heat dissipation versus going into the black version, um, which does not sell as well as the lighter color. We saw that on the previous versions of the pants. Come back around to the front from there, HVB. If you're thinking about where the Tornado 2 lives in the line, if you want to make a little bit less of an investment, get closer to that $200 range, check out the Airwave 2, which is going to be basically a shell. It's just meant for really late spring, summer, early fall. It's not going to have thermal waterproof, and it's not as beefy as this guy. And if you want to take this to the next level from a protection standpoint, check out the Cayenne Pro. That's going to be more of your aggressive adventure dual sport pant, a little bit closer to three season hot weather rating with a little bit of a knuckle baked right in. Now, I will say, as the next step in your journey, click the info button on your mobile or your desktop device. Visit the product detail page at revzilla.com. Read other rider reviews of the new Tornado 2. You should not just take my word for it. As always, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Stay up to date with our opinion on the latest and greatest from motorcycle gear parts and accessories. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.